Hi again. This time Athena is joining me. Come on, baby girl. Um, now this is going to be a late upload, although by the time you see this, you'll already realize that because I have to leave in about 45 minutes. But this video is only 18 minutes long, so, you know, what the heck. I already, of course, went through the beginning ad. They had, oh my god. If they put another ad in the middle, I am going to plots. Right, baby girl? You don't even know what plots means, do you? Leave a comment if you know what plots means. <laughs> All right, now then. I am really sick of DC versus Marvel death battles, okay? That there's only a few that really, really make sense, and this one just doesn't, okay? It just doesn't. I'm going to put that out there. Um, Venom versus some other symbiote really should be, uh, I don't know. Oh, it needs to be up a little louder. Now, last Every week I noticed champion of justice there was an echo us, effect. Whether they mean to or not. So, yeah. And sometimes that inspiration creates your worst nightmare. <laughs> there we Venom, go. The ultimate antithesis I've never to seen the incredible. And Bane, the burly genius who broke the bat. He's whiz and I'm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. I figured it was going to be... The word big. symbiosis refers to two organisms living in beneficial harmony, such as when two like beings Ramora's. bond over an obsessive, psychotic desire to kill Spider-Man. Eddie Brock was an up-and-coming journalist on the brink of national success when life decided Here's to just shit all Jameson over him. One day, Eddie published an article in creating a man he thought was a serial killer. However, that very same day, Spider-Man caught the real killer, publicly shaming Eddie. As a result, Eddie's company fired him, his father disowned him, and his wife left him. Also, he had cancer. Damn, talk about a bad day. Understandably pretty upset about it, it's Eddie blamed Spider-Man for ruining his Please life. This led to his fateful meeting with a weird a black gooey day. alien. Please. Remember Gag from the 90s? It's just like that, except alive and... Evil. Yeah, this was it. a symbiote from the planet Clintar, an alien species with one goal, to grow stronger by fusing with a living host. I know that sounds intimidating and almost parasitic, but the Clintar people are naturally a peaceful race. However, that they often cool. inherit their host's traits and personality. This symbiote in particular had previously bonded with a violent alien bent on genocide does that, does that and a mean costume it was superhero everybody a knows as creature, or Deadpool. was this specific that symbiote crazy you know, as an Oh, there's no way this symbiote is sane after that. You know. It wasn't. Afterward, it bonded with Spider-Man, who experienced this rage and lunacy firsthand. Horrified by this, Spider-Man eventually discarded the symbiote. Unaware the alien had determined Spidey was its um, ideal host and became obsessed with him. Much like bar trash Cindy that sometimes you go home with but never really want to see her again. So what do you get when you combine an angry man and a black goo monster both hatefully obsessed with the same guy? Most just call him Venom. Did you know Eddie came up with the name Venom because he felt he was spewing Venom from the tabloids he worked at? <laughs> Seriously? Well uh, I give that origin a 3 out of 10. Thank God the name's cool at least, and Venom's abilities are even cooler. He's insanely Ooh, strong, nice ridiculously <laughs> agile, and has a fast-paced healing Hood. factor. He can power through bullets with no problem at all. Plus, the symbiote carries some of the abilities of its previous owners, including Spidey. That means he can climb on walls and shoot webbing strong enough that Spidey himself can't break through. Wow. Technically speaking, Venom simply reproduces the webbing effects via one of his more useful powers, shape-shifting. This symbiote can act break as out of a liquid, web? allowing it to increase Venom's size for intimidation or even mimic Eddie's everyday clothing for just, discretion. Just Not to mention Venom can morph into a wingsuit like, to glide through the air, isolate and purge toxins from its host's body, straight up turn invisible, or even just sprout spikes for simple stabbing weapons. Invisible with these abilities seemingly limited only by his twisted imagination, Venom has tangled with outlaw. many of his world's heavy hitters. He's defeated Spider-Man without having a host, resisted Ghost Rider's yeah, penance stare, and I shaken off the Hulk's character. infamous thunderclap. That's right, he's even taken blows from the likes of the Juggernaut and the Hulk. 
Even if Venom does get Which injured, the symbiote can rapidly it heal its host. From broken bones, impalement like through the chest, jaw. or even blast from an anti-tank rocket. He's also that so speedy been, uh, that he can catch up to bullets in mid-flight. But if he doesn't feel like it, he'll just take the shot and spit it back with deadly force. He's strong enough he to bust led. down metal doors with his fists, tear apart large Get military trucks, or throw cars several blocks away. I mean, part of that's gotta be Brock. Have you seen how much that dude can lift? Most impressively, Ugh. Venom once held Bulging up a giant vein, carnival ride similar out. to a Ferris wheel, even after getting struck by one of his worst weaknesses. A sound gun. A sound gun? That's wow. pretty lame. So, like, I can just to beat him if I scream really loud? With enough sound or literal firepower, yes, you could force the symbiote to expose the vulnerable host underneath. Though I should note that repeated exposure has helped Venom build up some tolerance. Oh, no. Also, while the symbiote is highly versatile, Venom is not exactly a strategist. Unsurprising, given his apparent insanity. I like being bad. It makes me happy. I don't know. The Joker's symbiote a good also strategy. requires a diet containing the chemical phenethylamine. Pheno, what? You like buy that at the store? Or? <laughs> no, it's found in certain fungi, chocolate, and brain matter, which the symbiote greatly hungers for. Oh, great! Now it eats brains. God, this guy is literally a living nightmare. Eddie, it is Eddie. <laughs> There's no already, and no more symbiotes. Only. That was a very interesting In sound his effect. personal mission to drive crime from Gotham City, one of my Batman shows. has faced dozens of foes, each more vile and cunning than the last. But none challenged his sheer sure willpower more than the monstrous man called <laughs> Bane. Bane's life was theory. screwed from the start. He was born into prison and made to carry out his dead dad's life sentence. Teddy Bear Talk about him. carrying the sins of your father. Oh, I mean, who puts a baby in jail? <laughs> God, Couldn't it just, like, crawl through the bars? Did they make Hang a baby on a jail second. Life? Here's another thing. You know, there's all this stuff with, um, the being... The, the height and weight are total mismatches. That guy should weigh a hell of a lot more than 350 pounds. That guy is at least 500 pounds. Six foot eight and jacked as all get out. And he's only 350 pounds. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. So many questions. <laughs> the child spent his dawning years in captivity, oh, a teddy bear. forced to fend for himself against a cruel a and remarkably unforgiving world. Clean teddy bear, then all one day, a fateful accident Maybe caused something to, to the snap laundry. inside him. I'm guessing his neck. No, well, it should have. Instead, the boy slipped into a coma where he saw a vision of his future self. A man standing above all of her men. I see Bane is even Future more jacked than told him he would be second to none, so long as he could conquer the power of Serum fear, which is apparently shaped like a bed. Yep. Ah, would you look at that? What are the odds? When the child awoke, he began his journey to conquer that fear through the power of bloody murder. Hell yeah, yeah. That's also when the prison warden called him the guy even a be Bane to that? everything holy. And that's why he's named Bane. Ugh, two out of ten. Anyway, it wasn't long before Bane if got anything, wind of a certain oh, bat ruling Gotham City by fear. Birdie. But he if got to work trying to become the ridiculously jacked guy he birdie. saw in his dream so he could take down Batman once and for all. Come on, Peter. As he grew up, Bane entered an intense daily workout regimen, not just of his body, but his mind as well. He educated himself in ten languages, escapology, combat tactics, and several martial arts including a few he created himself. Escapology. Bane pretty much became a legend across the prison. Escapology. So to remind in everybody prison. who was in charge, the warden decided to make an example of him. See, this place wasn't just a prison. Anyway, the army of Santa Prisco was conducting tests on human Spanish. subjects with an experimental formula called Maybe he just calls himself because whatever these super soldier formulas is. are all the rage. The procedure had you know, killed every previous what, test subject, but Bane proved hardier than expected. Creighton's and heart after exploded. he had a taste, Bane wanted venom for himself. So he faked his own death, punched a few sharks to death, and liberated the whole prison single-handed. Oh, the inmates cool. joined his cause, and he took his new super Did soldier serum to Gotham City. Did she die? I Using a special him. apparatus on his wrist, Bane can administer a dosage of venom directly into his brain at will. Doing so dramatically increases his muscle mass, turning him Venom's into one of Gotham brain, City's most he? ferocious physical threats. <laughs> 
He's destroyed the Batmobile like with his bare hands, jumped off skyscrapers without injury, and lifted loaded armored trucks which weigh tens of thousands of pounds. And then there's the feat he's most famous for, breaking the back of Batman. But Bane didn't just break bone, he literally put poor Batman into a coma. Well, years later, Batman did get his revenge. After swapping powers with Superman, he paid Bane a visit and broke his everything. And somehow, this didn't kill him. He's one tough son of a bitch, and if he needs it, Bane can crank up his See, flow of venom for lotion. more strength than faster right. healing. But when he first tried this, it came at a cost. Turns out, an overdose of venom can temporarily deteriorate one's mind, turning Bane into a mindless, muscle-bound beast. Ah! And it's also surprisingly addictive, so eventually Bane swore off the stuff for some time. But this only let Bane prove that he is just as dangerous even without the performance-enhancing drug. He's been pelted by dozens of bricks at once and taken countless stabbings and bullets without even reacting. He once cauterized his own wound with a blowtorch and even got thrown hundreds of yards by a last woman and got right back up ready to fight. Still woman? Off the juice Bane is strong enough to tear I'm down a stone prison wall, casually rip off an armored guy's limbs, and take out dozens of members of the League of Assassins solo. But if he really needs to, he can always fall off the wagon and get back on the venom. Bane's yep. absurd power is matched only by his intelligent mind. He possesses a photographic memory, rivals Rachel Ghoul in chess, and deduced the identity of Batman in one year when nobody else could figure it out. Yeah, Bane's pretty ridiculous. That just reminds me of something else. There was an issue um, where, of all people, Harley Quinn came this close to figuring out Batman's identity. She was at a party at Bruce Wayne's mansion and Bruce, I mean, she was in her regular outfit and she strolled in and there wasn't a damn thing Bruce could do about it because he was having a party where everyone was dressed as jesters. It was like fools for love. It was like love's children's hospital or something. <laughs> and uh, she just walked in with her assortment of clowns and she was like, oh, hi, Bruce. <laughs> and he was like, um, hello. <laughs> and one of her henchmen asked, why do you like that guy? He's just a brainless socialite. And she's like, he has a presence. I can't really explain it. I've only met two other people with it, Mr. J and Batman. It's like, Harley, I want you to keep thinking about that. I want you to continue that line of thought. She's also come shockingly close to killing Batman. If you read Mad Love, there was absolutely nothing he could have done to stop her. Joker stopped her. Yeah. Because he had to be the one to do it. So, consequently, yeah. Anyway, just wanted to divert that. <laughs> Uh, there was another issue where some random guy figured out Batman's identity and he was going to reveal it to the world and all that, but, um, that Batman teamed up with Superman, you know, had Superman dresses, uh, uh, dresses Batman, which always leads to hilarity, and then managed to trick the guy with, like, uh, because it was at some sort of event. I haven't read that issue in some time. Uh, so, and uh, managed to trick the guy and is like, oh, wait a minute. If you're here and you're here, then who? And um, the, it was like, you know, where's Lex? I haven't seen him in a while. <laughs> uh, it was something like that. Okay, so. Ridiculous, but it's no secret that he's at his best when he's got that venom juice pumping through his veins. Uh, Luckily things. for him, he eventually they developed a form like of venom that didn't wrestlers. turn his brain into mush, and he then soon got addicted to that stuff all over again. Still, Bane has proven over and over again that with or without venom, anyone who crosses him will beg for mercy a cool and style. receive none. Before I broke the bat. Today, 
I break the man. Was that Bruce? All right, the combatants are set. <clears throat> Let's end this debate once and for all. But all this strength talk has reminded me I gotta bulk up. And the oh. best way to do it is with a delicious home cook. Not again. I'm gonna forward through this part. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Just gonna be honest. I got no clue. Um. I wanted to say in the animated series. You know what? Actually, I think I got that issue completely wrong. I think it was actually the guy figured out who Superman was. I, like I said, I haven't read that one in quite a long time. Anyway, <clears throat> in the animated series, I remember Bane actually made it to the Beyond years. But he was so weakened by the Venom that he was, like, confined to a hospital bed and could, like, barely had consciousness and stuff. ...straight to your door, along with easy-to-follow instructions. Oh, Plus the fuck, ingredient. really? Okay. A little smear effect there. Oh, there we go. Step aside, Minos. And I was going to say this is really hard for me to see because I got the light right behind it's me there. Fat. Uh, no. Is something else? So, you fall back on cheap magic tricks, trying to disappear, yet you don't know how to be truly invisible. Now, I give you permission to die. Rocket launcher ain't gonna stop him, Bane. Did they still that Bane sprite? You're just like all the others. Broken. I don't think that's gonna stop him. Yep. What's happening? Fighters were Batman intense Shuffle. physical threats, but only one wielded the superior Venom. Venom had many advantages over Bane. Speed, durability, versatility, and even strength. 
Bane's peak strength was at most just enough to lift a 27 ton car. Meanwhile, Venom was strong enough to stop a falling carnival ride and hold it up by himself even while in a weakened state. Comparing it to similar carnival rides, my very conservative on, estimate would place this thing weighing around 200 tons. Way more impressive really? than anything Bane ever lifted. Of course, Bane ah. was smarter. However, even if he had deduced Venom's key weaknesses to fire and sound, he wasn't really equipped to take advantage of them. As for speed, Venom could catch bullets. Even better, he could catch up to bullets in midair. He had to move over 1,500 miles per hour to do He's that. He's really going Correctly out to enough, save that lady. Almost that twice the speed wife? of sound. Surprisingly, their durability levels were pretty even. Both have taken hits from Superman-level beings and lived to fight another day. The big difference being Venom's healing factor was far superior. He could fight on par with Juggernaut, who can make 4.8 magnitude earthquakes with his bare hands. Dang. But it's not like Batman ever needed super strength to knock Bane out cold. In time, Venom's superior Batman strength, has speed, super durability, strength. and versatility simply overwhelmed Bane. Looks like Venom was the real Bane of this fight. The winner is Venom. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, stick around to find out who's coming up next on Death Battle. And if you want to see behind the scenes commentary on the episode, then click that box and start a 30 day free first membership trial. Thanks for watching. <clears throat>